Well, a lot of people always ask me, how do you clean your bongs? And the best way is, by far, pure. 99.9% .9 alcohol, you can buy at your local drug mart, Costco, they sell it in four packs for eight bucks. That's Canadian. Table salt, that's to scrub the bong itself. And a steam shot, or the hottest water you can get, because that's what melts down what's inside your bong, all the gunk. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I take my steamer and I put the nozzle end up in there, and this is to heat everything up in there. Go make sure. I'll burn your hand. See how much steam is actually coming out there. Very hot. Get the business end out here. Do the same thing. So I pre-do this before I put any alcohol or salt inside. This is to loosen up all the THC. Alternatively, you can just use really hot water and run it through there. But if you got a steamer like I do, this is by far the best way. Then, ooh, it's so hot. Then you can put in your alcohol. And your salt. You can be liberal. Salt's what's gonna scrub it away. Put a little more alcohol. And you can use your towel. Shake it around. Wow, that's just with the first, first little bit of a rinse. Look at that. That's how you clean a bong. Brand new. That took me all of maybe 30 seconds. The quickest fastest way. Heat, alcohol, and salt. Your best friends when it comes to cleaning your bong. Mm, that's what I'm be smoking right now. Some nice kush. Some coconut oil. Organic. Coconut milk. If you don't have that, you can always use some half and half cream. It's got lots of fat in it. And if you don't want to use some cannabis, it's recommended you get some nice extract. I got some Rick Simpson oil here. Looking very fine. If 
Beautiful. So I had a bone marrow transplant about 10 years ago. I had lymphoblastic lymphoma. It's a high grade blood cancer, a lot like leukemia, and it's grouped up with the non-Hodgkin's disease. Hodgkin's being one disease in itself. Non-Hodgkin's is a bunch of lymphomas. So I had stage four cancer, and a lot of people ask me, how did you beat cancer? Aside from all the crazy chemotherapy I had, I also had a bone marrow transplant. It means I had full body radiation with a stem cell transplant. I also used cannabis. Now, when I was getting treated, there was a lot of stigma and stereotypes. Now, since then, there's been a lot of studies that show it actually kills cancer. But for symptom relief alone, cannabis did wonders for my nausea, for my pain relief. And now I know why I'm one of the few people that are alive that I got treated with. It saved my life by killing cancer cells. So one way that you can take cannabis is ingesting it, which is by far the best way to get the full medicinal value of cannabis. Deboxylating or decarbing your cannabis either through heat or through grinding it up and putting it in with some alcohol or even heating up with some oil will also get you nice and baked. So Rick Simpson oil is decarbed honey oil basically. Usually people use uh, ethanol alcohol which you can get like the biggest highest proof of alcohol you can get from the liquor store or you could brew your own alcohol alternatively. But either way you want something that's going to strip the cannabis of the medicinal value, the THC, all the different cannabinoids, the terpenes, everything that's going to help shrink those cancer cells. For me, I've been daily using Rick Simpson oil for a long time now. I used to just smoke and vaporize, but now I've learned that eating cannabis, especially before I go to bed, really benefits the type 1 diabetes and neuropathy that I suffer from due to all the treatment that I went through. So one quick and easy way to make yourself a wonderful drink. Let's get the heat on here. So. I'm going to put in my oil, let's be a little generous, that's a good gram and a half, let's say. Alright, and then put in your coconut milk, whoa, that was going to happen, like so. And for good measure, put in some hot chocolate mix. Let's uh, break it all up. Just let it heat up. Some people like to make brownies. And one way you can Deboxylate is you could say take butter and you mix it with your cannabis and then you could use a cloth to strain it and take out all the foliage and then you're left with just some medicated butter. I like to use coconut oil. Um, it's low in fat when it comes to like uh, milk fat so it's like vegetarian um, but the oil tastes good. I find so I like to use that a lot because it mixes in with my food just great and you can simply heat that up with some pot <laughs> and then you got yourself medicated coconut oil. It really isn't hard you can also use a little toast oven like this and put it on like 210 degrees or a little bit higher depending on how long you want to bake it for um, you, it, a good rule of thumb is just to wait till it turns color and that's how you know that it's decarbed and what that basically means is you're going to be able to metabolize it. So we're going to add some more hot chocolate mix to here. I'm diabetic so I tend to use the fewer, fewer calories one. But alternatively you can use um, like stevia mixed with some coconut and cocoa, sorry. So if you mix those together, definitely a healthy alternative. Just want to make sure we're really stirring in here, heating it up. As you can see, this is really easy. 
but I'm just wanting to make sure it's really hot so it's solidified. Almost there. Just beautiful. Now what I like about this is it's quick and easy. It tastes good. And I think about anyone could do this. And it's literally how you can save your life for one of your loved ones. It's really not that hard. And there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to make different wonderful things. All right, I don't have any more floaties. Smells delicious. It's gonna get the nice rich coconut flavor with some hot chocolate. Beautiful. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a little bit more info on how easy it is to ingest cannabis to help save your life. Even if you use it as a preventative measure against cancer, it's also great. Honey oil is available through your local dispensary or you can make it yourself. But mostly everyone just needs to start growing cannabis. Then this world will be full of beautiful, beautiful flowers. Also, when cannabis is legal, it'll lower the price for everyone, so don't worry. All those governments out there trying to tax it, that's okay. Everyone's going to grow it. It's going to be free, which is going to be access for everyone. And that's what we all want. Free access to cannabis, right? So if you like my videos and you want me to get bigger and better, you got to share them and like them right down there. Like and subscribe, okay? I hope that you and your loved ones have the best of health because health is most important. I beat cancer with cannabis. I'm living proof and you can too. If you have any questions you can email me at info at kush.ca but mostly enjoy life like there's no tomorrow live in the now and love life okay it's just a bunch of moments yeah